Do you want a cheap meal consisting mostly of carbs that won't tax your culinary skills? Well, do I have the perfect meal for you? A real Swedish classic delight called Tunnbrödsrulle. Wow, there are a lot of images on Google. Rest assured that my version will not look this fancy. Let's go do it by Ravild style. First you will need a suitable kitchen. As you can see there is an abundance of spring going on here. Step 1. Make a fire. Always start with small kindling. Unless you're me, then you use bloody great logs to save time. The trick is creating a chimney effect. You'll need a knife. Well, you always need a knife. Pickled cucumber, ketchup, mustard, sausages, peppercorns, butter, onion, potatoes, tunbrot or wraps, and bay leaves. Step 2. Cut the onion. Put in a pan. Add potatoes. Some peppercorns. And a few bay leaves. Add water. Step 3. Boil and add salt if you forgot to do that in step 2. Step 4. Drink beer. This is a very important step. Make sure you maintain and manage your fire without setting fire to the kitchen. Step 5. When the potatoes are done, take them out. Throw sausages in the warm water. Step 6. While waiting for the sausages to get warm and take on some flavor, mash the potatoes. I do not have cream so I use a bit more butter, but what comes in handy as mashing on the griddle is counterproductive. If your mash is too solid, add some water from the pan. The water is nicely seasoned so this improves your mash. Step 7. Bring it all together. First a wrap. Then some mash, two sausages, the pickled cucumber that is called Boston Gurkha here,
mustard. And ketchup. Now be creative and make nice parcels or rolls. Step 8. Serve. As it is almost Easter, I suggest some Swedish Poskmust, which is a carbonated, not yet fermented drink, specifically enjoyed around Easter. Bon appetit! And that's it. Turn Brötsrulle on the fire. In a later episode, I will show you how to make the wraps, the Tunbröt. Thanks for watching and never forget to Vara Wild! What the hell is wrong with these moose?